Hey guys, tfisher 88 here with another figure review. Today we're not going to be taking a look at an Ultraman or Godzilla character. Instead, we're going to be taking a look at an Ultra Q character. Anyway, here he is. Alien Keemer. Yeah, we're going to be taking a look at an Ultra Q character, something a little bit different. And yeah, this guy was uh, actually reissued just this year in January as part of the EX series. And yeah. Anyway, let's look at his tag and his game card. Here's his tag. As like I said, he's part of the EX series. There's a picture of his in-game in model, which looks good. So yeah, just a standard Ultra Monster tag. And of course the back is just, you know, numbers and whatnot that no one really cares about. So yeah. Here is his game card with the in-game model, which looks neat. Got some nice, I guess some nice stats. 800 and 1900. I wish I knew what those were for, but I'm going to say that he's a pretty good game character. And yeah, that's it for that. As for articulation, um, he only has three points, seeing as though he's a humanoid character. That means that his arms rotate 360. This arm kind of rubs up against the thing that's going around his chest, but since he's kind of soft vinyl, you can just force it pretty easily. And his waist rotates 360. It's kind of oval shaped, and you kind of have to force it just a little bit, but you can manage that, I'm sure. So yeah. Um, yeah, like I said earlier, he was just reissued this year as part of the EX series, but the mold is from 1994. And if I remember right, the mold was released only three times. This is the newest one. So yeah. Anyway, detail is actually... It's pretty good. Um, he, the whole body's got touches of guy in suit, you could say because there's all sorts of ridges and folds that are reminiscent of an actor in a costume such as here on the backs of the legs and uh, even on the hands, you know, the gloves there's a glove line like in, in the show and yeah, just everywhere there's just places where it's like a guy in a suit so yeah the hands are positioned in a kind of a neat way. This uh, His right hand is kind of positioned to where he could be pointing and holding something at the same time. And the other is more like he's giving a speech. So, feet look neat. Each toe is kind of uh, indented in there, I guess you could say. Um, there's a little, there's a cuff of fur on each of his ankles, both of his ankles. They look pretty good. Cuffs of fur here on his chest. They look pretty nice. And the, there's a gigantic, well not gigantic, but going all around his body is more fur, as well as it going down his back, which is a little odd. Um, when you think alien, you don't really think of it an alien being, you know, hairy and furry, but whatever. His face is pretty goofy looking, I must say, but it looks good because, well there's a lot of little, I guess you could say, puncture holes in his face. And there's cracks in his face, which look nice. Around his eyes, there are um, sort of indented circles. Well, not you know, not not completely round, but they look pretty nice to me. And as you can see, his eyes are not even. One's um, higher than the other, which is kind of creepy in a way. And the thing on top of his head is nicely done. It's not um, carved in which would have been nice, but whatever. That's not a big complaint. Now, when I, um, when I found this guy, well, not found this guy, when I was going to buy this guy, I saw the stock photo. And he was kind of positioned like this. Now, I didn't really know much about this guy, but I wanted to get him. And when I got him, I was really surprised to find out that he has this. A third eye. Yes, one of the creepiest things on an alien ever from the Ultra series. And yeah, it's like the other eyes, it has indented ridges or whatever around it, which look good. So yeah, details, pretty good. As for paint job, 
looks pretty good. The figure's um, sort of a dark blue, the mold, with some dark purple highlights or blue highlights, stripes and whatnot on his legs and body, which look pretty nice. The head is sort of the same color as these highlights, and the, the cracks and whatnot, I guess you could say, on his head are sort of a sort of dull orange. Looks weird. And his eyes are a, a kind of a cr tannish cream color, and the pupils are, of course, black. So yeah, detail and paint job are pretty good. Um, I'll go ahead and do scaling, although Alien Keemer actually never fought anyone. But I just want to go ahead and bring out two figures to show you. Anyway, since I don't have a Bandai Ultraman, and, well, that's the only reason why, I'll bring out the Ryushi, or, yeah, Ryushi, or Ryu Ruishi, I don't remember what it was, Ultra 7. Seven, 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 just to show you guys. Now, Alien Keemer could be, could grow, you know, from just the size of a human, to about the size, well, he was, he could grow to be bigger than a Ferris wheel. So, yeah. This, uh, this isn't accurate. Well, it could be, if Ultra 7 was kind of in his, uh, human size form. It might work. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how it looked. Now, this figure is actually pretty tall. Um, if I remember right, he was about the size of Bemular, which we all know is a pretty tall figure. But just to show you, let's go ahead and bring out another figure that's kind of tall. The Bandai Creation 1968 Godzilla. Yeah, as you can see, um, Kimer is actually a little bit taller than Godzilla, only because of the thing on top of his head. So yeah, just wanted to show you guys. As for history, like I said, he appeared in Ultra Q back in 1966, and his story goes a little bit like this. He arrived from the year 2020, and transported humans to his own planet by shooting the sort of goo uh, out of the thing on top of his head. Well, after he did that, he was soon discovered and was actually chased by a cop car, but managed to outrun it, which is kind of odd. But, um, yeah. After he outran the cop car, he continued on with his, you know, little mission, and was then uh, sort of cornered by police. Which, um, they cornered him, well, where a Ferris wheel was, and forced him to try and escape up it. Fortunately, they shot him down, and he hit the ground. But after that, he actually began to grow, and grew huge. Big enough to actually pick up the uh, Ferris wheel, which I think he did in the episode. I haven't seen it, so... Anyway, they ended up using sort of a, a new weapon sort of thing on him. Which basically, I guess, killed him. Uh, well, no, they didn't kill him. They w It wounded him. So yeah, after that he collapsed, and... Uh, then he used his goo on himself, which transported him back to his home world. So yeah. And his other sort of appearance was in Ultraman, in uh, the episode where Alien Mephilus appears. I, if I remember right, Mephilus showed off his power and brought back Alien Zarab, Alien Bolton, and Kemer. But, uh, yeah, I think that what people consider this that one to be is Alien Keemer 2, because the other is Alien Zarab 2 and Alien Bolton 3. So, yeah. Other than that, that is uh, Alien Keemer's full history. Anyway, this figure is pretty good. Um, the basic uh, ultra articulation, only three points. Kind of disappointing, but understandable, obviously. Detail, pretty good. Paint job, pretty good. Um, I like the uh, 2000 paint job. Uh, if you've seen that, then yeah. And scaling, I'm leaving it up to you. So yeah, the, overall, this is an okay figure. Pretty decent. Um, yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this re review. And until next time, I'll see you.